So who talks first? You talk first? I talk first. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Who Talks First. I'm one of your hosts. I'm CT. I'm Solo. I'm your other host. And uh, today is going to be another Star Wars podcast, or it's actually going to be another theory podcast. Who uh, would have guessed? Star Wars. I know. Uh, so later in the podcast, we're going to talk about some lightsaber theories, because we talk about the future of the lightsabers a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but before that, let's just catch up on... The, the world of Star Wars in in the news. Alrighty. So, as a Han Solo update, uh, Ron Howard was officially appointed director of the Han Solo anthology film. Mm-hmm. Uh, so much dramatics have come out about this film. <laughs> After they were like, it's just creative differences, guys, and then bam, Watergate. Like, we've heard sources that actually, uh, I can't say his name, but the actor who was playing Han Solo... Mm-hmm. Uh, was one of the first people to complain about how the character was being treated, comparing the character to Ace Ventura, Mm. which, again, is not great. Um, Not for Han. I love Ace Ventura, but that's not the movie I would expect to see if I go into a Han Solo movie. No, and, like, a lot of people... Well, I see where this criticism is. They're like, well, you brought in comedy directors. Of course they're going to do a comedy. And I'm like, well, I think they brought in comedy directors to try to bring humor to it. And also, but not make it a comedy. Guys, we still want humor to be in this movie, and there are other characters besides Han Solo. Mm-hmm. So, Han, Han can't have Ace Ventura type humor. No. That's, yeah, that's, that's, like, Han is a sarcastic asshole, mm-hmm. and Ace Ventura is very, like, spastic, and, yeah. I mean, obviously we haven't seen the film, so we can't guarantee that's exactly what it was. But I could easily see that if, route being taken. But if your directors are like, you need to be louder and gesture way more as to an actor, I could see him being like, oh my god, I'm Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah. And uh, apparently, according to some other sources, um, when Ron Howard was announced as a new director and that Lord and Miller were leaving, mm. the crew like burst into applause. Oh. They were like, thank god. And I think Lord and Miller have this very... Again, I'm I'm assuming these things. I don't know this at all, that just from the articles, that they have this very laid back uh, approach to filmmaking, mm-hmm. which when you're on a smaller scale production could be quite nice. Right. But you're on a Star Wars movie. Yeah. So apparently there's these crew members that they weren't filming till 1 p.m. each day. So there's people just sitting around doing nothing for ages. And oh my God. crew members are the first people to show up. Yeah. So... If they're not starting till one, oh I mean, my they God. could have been there since like five, four a.m. Yeah. yeah, like they could be there so early. They could have been there for a whole like eight hour shift beforehand. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! So apparently, the I I have faith in this decision. Um, yeah, I mean, I have nothing to say about Ron Howard. I don't. He's the rest of development. Is he? And well, I love the rest of development, and he's done Rush, and he has a very uh, uh, close relationship with. Uh, George Lucas, and mm-hmm. has had a close relationship with Lucasfilm for a while. Oh, that's good. So I think he's a good choice. Um, I've never heard terrible things about him, which must mean that he is probably a fine act- a director. Like, yeah. I think I think he will fit in nicely. And, and really, at this point, all he's got to do is just... Because I'm sure there's a lot of film there that they can still use. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you just have to, like, do what's on the script. Yep. The, kind of the end. Uh, they've also brought in an acting coach for Alden Eldrick. Is that the is that Han Solo? Uh, yeah, Han Solo. Mm. Uh, again, this doesn't surprise me. I think he was just directed the wrong way for Han. I don't mm. think the acting di- like coach is necessarily being brought in because he's a bad actor. No, I think he's being brought in because they're changing Han. Yeah, because they're like everything that you were taught before. You need to relearn. Yeah, so that that doesn't worry me. Um, <laughs> And, like, again, we said this a lot in our last week's podcast. Uh, Until Lucasfilm produces something I'm mad about, Mm -hmm. I have nothing but faith in their decisions. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Rogue One turned out great. I love The Force Awakens. Rebels is great. All of their books and, I mean, I don't read a ton of the comics, but the comics I have read I've enjoyed. Mm -hmm. So I have faith in what they're producing and they know what they want. Right. And until they produce something horrible... If they have to make these dramatic decisions, I'm going to be like, it was for the best. Honestly. Or have the hope that it's for the best. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a lot of our fears for the movie 
were probably going to come true, and now they're like, uh, let's pull back. Yeah. So, fingers crossed for the Han Solo movie. Uh, next up, D23, Star Wars has officially announced its presence at D23. Weren't you just saying yesterday that they still weren't announced? No, they were They, they were not. I mean, oh. they may have been announced like two days ago, but yeah, they yeah. were very I was recently. Like, I was like, dang, because weren't we just talking about it? We were that? just talking about it, but it was like, it was more than that, but. Got it. It was very recently announced that Star Wars is officially going to be there at the live action panel. So now yes. it's up to me to decide if I want to camp out for it or not. I well, actually just bought the gold I was pass. Say, didn't you just buy the gold pass? I just bought the gold pass because that gives you priority seating, but it is limited. So honestly, we'll see. Mm-hmm. You get a bunch of stuff with the gold pass that was worth it for me anyway. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. And also with the gold pass, I'll probably be able to get into the Kingdom Hearts panel. Do it for me! If, if I don't get into the live action panel, uh-huh. I'll probably go to the Kingdom Hearts panel. Do it for me. Um, it, it'll see how the live action panel goes, because that's going to be Thor and Black Panther and Star Wars and Mary Poppins. Right. All of the Disney live action, so it's going to be a huge panel. Uh, who knows which actors will be there? Mark Hamill's <laughs> already a guest for the con, so Mark will I mean, I'm sure Mark show will up. be there. But last D23, we also had Daisy and John. Mm -hmm. But again, that was when they were young guns and small beans. And they they gave them their infinity figures. It was really cute. So who who knows if they'll show up or or what we'll see. If we'll get a new trailer or if we'll get some behind the scenes footage. We'll probably get some new footage, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And also, D23 checks your phones at the door. Ooh. So, uh... They show you exclusive stuff. And I'm not sure for Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Like, Star Wars, they might be like, all right, you guys get to see it first, but we'll post it later. Uh-huh. But I know for a lot of their stuff, it, it's exclusive stuff. Like, you see it, and nobody else will ever see it mm-hmm. until the movie comes out, obviously. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that happened with the Beauty and the Beast um, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh they showed pictures of the dress, of the gold dress. Oh, boy. And so we just knew, it was but no one ever saw it. For so long. But, like, no one, I didn't, no one could see it. Mm. It was only them who saw it, so. But were people at D23, like, it was awful? I actually didn't hear any, anything about it. That's uh, surprising. Maybe it was just the blue dress. Maybe. I don't oh, know. okay, well then. Maybe it was that, but I just heard that you saw the, dr- saw the dress, a dress. Mm-hmm. And everyone was looking for it. Looking for it online looking and for nobody online had and it. And you, no one had it. But right. So sometimes they're pretty sneaky with their exclusives. Yeah, for sure. Which is the reason why I'm like, ah, do I just spend 12 hours in line? But, because <laughs> uh, sometimes they give you gifts. Mm-hmm. But again, I got that Last Jedi poster and I highly doubt they're ever going to Whatever they're giving you is not going to be better than not that better poster. Not better than that. <laughs> like, nope. Uh, Unless it's just Rey and Kylo this close. Only inches apart, just staring at each other. It's not going to be better. I, I mean, what? <laughs> that actually happened. I don't go to that panel. And that's the and poster. And that's the poster. I'll be like, what? What the world? I'll be like, well, thanks for going to the Kingdom Hearts panel. There you go. <laughs> um, so I'm really, I'm really excited for D23. Um, it's actually probably my favorite convention out there. Because, again, it's just things that I like. Mm-hmm. Like, it's Star Wars, Disney, and... Marvel, so mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, those are really the only things that I like besides The Office and Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, my my range of things that I enjoy with my entire heart is quite small. Um, so there was some footage that was, uh, on a future note, there was some footage that was released, uh, kind of behind the scenes footage of The Last Jedi. It was this sort of uh, like, 10-minute documentary of this... I don't want to get the name of the program wrong, but of this, like, filmmaking program of these students and kind of trainees and apprentices that got to work on The Force Awakens and Han Solo. Mm. And so in this, like, basically advert for the program, you got to see that Ray running on a beach and Phasma w- walking on a green screen. So basically, like the scene, we know that we know that Phasma walks now. Yeah, guys, guys, controversy. They were averted. actually showing things that were in the trailer. Uh-huh. So, uh, so they the scene that like Ray's running it. like really angrily. Mm-hmm. She, well, she's running on a beach. We mm-hmm. know that now. Which you know that you're thirsty 
AF uh-huh. for Star Wars merch when you're like, she's running on a beach. How can I break this down? What's happening? Right. And you're going through frame by frame to try to figure something out. But she's on a beach, which is cool. Yep. And Phasma, it was like her one shot in the trailer, but obviously it's Where she's just walking skin. forward with yeah. like the other troopers behind her? Yeah. Ah. So it was kind of like the, it's like an above shot of what the actual set looks like compared right. to afterwards. So here comes some bonus footage. Uh, woohoo! So that beach might not need anything because it might be before any effects are done to it. Yeah, I assume it's actually like still probably on a beach of sorts mm-hmm. or else. Or maybe it's just in a desert. And they were like, just need sand, and then we'll just that, well, shoot it's just some gonna, sand it's in the It's going to be on Ark 2. Nah. <laughs> it's going to be on Ark 2. Mm-mm. Going okay. back to Jakku. <laughs> oh my god, if that like somehow ended up happening, I want you turning towards me in the theater being like, see, I told you. I told you. And then Finn pops in and he's like, why does everybody always want to go back to Jakku? That's it. I fucking hate Jakku. I'm like, I don't blame you, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, that was kind of fun to see because... We know the second trailer is coming soon. I'm, again, I still think maybe D23, but it might just be, like, behind more behind-the-scenes stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I just... Was Star Wars announced at Comic-Con? Not yet. So... It'll probably be at D23, then. I, yeah. I honestly... I mean, I'm surprised that Marvel is even going to be at SDCC, so I There's don't think... There's a little part of me that thinks, or if Star Wars <laughs> will be at D23, or be at... Uh, SCCC? SCCC, they won't say anything until after D23 because mm-hmm. they want people to Too go cool. to D23. Yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, D23 is like an all-Disney convention. I'm sure you've sort of figured it out by now. Um, it's every other year, and it's the reason why Disney is kind of pulling back mm-hmm. on a lot of major other conventions because yeah. they've been pulling stuff back from Comic-Con in the past. Uh, they're, they're Obviously, Star Wars Celebration is still going on. Which is kind of why I'm surprised there isn't a celebration next year. Mm-hmm. Like, why isn't there a celebration? There's, not, there's gonna- not a D23 either, right? Unless they make... There's not going to be a celebration before the before episode 9. Right. Which is so weird. That's really weird. Unless they put it, like, in January or February mm. of 20... Because, uh, yeah, like, uh, episode 9 comes out in May. Yeah. So, it's just really interesting that they're not having a celebration next year. It's really weird and also makes me kind of sad because I'm like, but I want another one before we go to the movie. And also- the reason why this is so much fun, like mm-hmm. obviously Celebration was fun for a lot of reasons, but it's because like this is the road to this, yeah. epi- this, this episode. Like that's awesome. It really surprised me that there's not going to be one next year. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, even if they had it before Han Solo came out, I would like I would still probably go. Well, I, like, I don't care that much about the Han Solo movie, Mm-mm. but then that means I don't have to camp out yeah. for anything. But I can still enjoy the celebration. Yeah. And there would obviously be, like, some stuff for Nine. Right. I don't, I don't know. Um, but past that, Forces of Destiny was finally given a release date. We know that the toys come out August 1st, but the show itself is coming out July 3rd on sense. YouTube. Got and it. July 9th on the Disney Channel. Oh. Or Disney XD. Disney XD. I kind of forgot which one. I think yeah, it's Disney probably XD. XD. Uh, I'm so flipping excited for Forces of Destiny. Like, I think it'll be very cute. Mostly for the toys. I'm excited for that freaking Ahsoka doll. Ahsoka. I <sighs> Honestly, and once we see... Because I think we have it pretty guaranteed that Kylo's getting one. Mm-hmm. And if, if Kylo's unmasked... I mean, he's gotta be, right? You, you would think so. Sabine comes with her mask, and without yeah. the mask, you can do the same thing for Kylo. I, dear God, I hope so, because I hate to be, like, excited for the male character in a thing all about, like, No, but the like, thing girls, is, is, but... like, girl dolls, quote-unquote, quote-unquote, mm-hmm. like, again, not gonna gender toys, but those are all about, like, the character and, like, the faces. You yeah. can't give a girl a doll that you can't see their face in. Yeah, cause, well, yeah, you we, really we've can't. talked about this before, that just generally, like, boys and girls, they play with their dolls differently. Mm-hmm. It's just, like, that's why, like, the the joke is they're not dolls, they're action figures, because they're, like, fighting, fighting like, them. throwing but them at each I know other. when I was younger, when I had, like, my stuffed animals, and, like, you play, you have stories with them yep. that you act out dramatic, like, full out, yeah, like, that's adventures. what I did with my Beanie Babies. I was like, they, they had full-on dramas going on. <laughs> Like, exactly. And that's, so, like, I mean, we are both 
Mm-hmm. This in the same mindset where like we look at a toy and I'm like, well, that Kylo toy would be cool if I could take off his mask. Mm-hmm. He doesn't do his daily activities with his mask on. Dear Lord. Growing up, I would be like, how am I going to take this off? And honestly, there's only so many things that need to have his fucking mask on. <laughs> because, I mean, I own half of them, but they all look the same after a while. Yep. And so I'm like, give, so boring. give me his, his puppy dog face. It's why, like, the, si- the older sideshow figures of the clones, where mm-hmm. I'm like, they're only worth buying if you can take off their masks. Mm-hmm. Which, like, Echo and Fives can, but I don't think that, uh, like, the Rex one that we keep I'm so surprised seeing. that the Kylo sideshow figure... Me like, his too. only option is with the mask. That's so crazy to me. Because, like, a sideshow figure? Mm-hmm. I can get a Captain America and, like, a Batman where I get to, like, change his expressions, but Kylo's stuck in a mask? Yeah. It's really weird. It's really Even, interesting to me. like, the the Luke that you got me, like, has all of these different accessories and stuff, and I'm pretty sure it was in the same price range yeah. as Kylo, and Kylo didn't come with, like, besides... Open hands, fists. Like, force yeah. hands, fists. Like, and then that's, that's the it. lightsaber lights up, but yours doesn't even because the the, the little screw, screw thing. is stripped. Yep. Rest in peace. So it's like... Because, again, if people don't want the face, then they don't have to have it that way. But for mm-hmm. them not to give the option is really weird. It's really strange. So, fingers crossed for Forces of Destiny. And also, because I would love to see more stylized versions of... Like Kylo toys. Also, his his brushably soft hair. He he'll probably have he'll probably have plastic hair. You think so? Luke does. Did, did Luke? Oh. Yeah. Luke has plastic hair, so I assume Kylo will yeah. also. But, but missed opportunity not to give him those. But he's got clone much locks. longer hair. He does. I just I have a. I just have. I want a him feeling. to have brushably soft hair so I can put him in like little Amidala stuff. Oh, yeah. I can try oh. to make him have little fancy hair. Yeah, we haven't seen a doll for Padme yet, which. <laughs> Has to be coming. I want 10,000 Padme dolls. Because, like, we've talked about, like, this. Like, I honestly think Padme will be marketed a little bit differently. Like, she'll be a part of a big set where she's given a ton of outfits. Mm-hmm. I, that, that's what I'm hoping for because they haven't announced her yet. But <sighs> Me who knows? Too. Um, Hera finally made her animated appearance. So Which she's going to be in the show for sure. She better have a doll. And I'm, I apologize if I get her name wrong. Ketsu? Um, Sabine's Mandalorian friend mm-hmm. is also going to be a part of the series. So, that's... Dolls for all of them. Yep. Please. Yeah. If I... you can do it for Monster High, you can do it for Star Wars. I cannot wait for August 1st. I will be there. And I hope, because there was a Loath Cat in the trailer, that we'll get Loath Cat plushes. Well, didn't Ahsoka come with a Loath Cat, it looked like? Oh, yeah, you were... Yeah, I think a Loath came... She came with a little one, but oh. they came with, like, oh, big yeah. ones. That'd be really cute. I'm hoping they come with accessories other than... Like, like the, the the dolls. Like, oh, gotcha. I mean, so I hope there's, like, a bigger series. Gotcha. You like how the Monster High also has, like, the vinyls and mm-hmm. their, their stuffed animals and their pets and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm very excited for Force of Destiny and we'll be at uh, Target or Toys R Us on August 1st. Yep. And then again for September 1st uh, for First Friday. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think that was really it in big news. So now we're going to get down to the core of the podcast, which is lightsaber theories. Woo! We've learned a lot about lightsabers. Yep. Since uh, the reboot. And... Mostly since the Ahsoka book, right? Mostly since the Ahsoka book, yeah. But now everyone's crediting the Darth Vader series, but whatever. (laughs) Ahsoka did it first. Just because you didn't read it doesn't mean it didn't happen. I know, right? (laughs) But I guess we get, like, the Sith point of view of it. But it was still all the articles were like, we finally find out how Sith lightsaber happens. I'm like, no, we found out in Ahsoka, guys. Jeez. Ahsoka explained it. So uh, I have like a bunch of different things. Or we've talked about this before. We've probably even talked about in podcast of what we want for lightsabers oh, for yeah. the sequel trilogy. Absolutely. And with what we've learned about uh, lightsabers in general and how they're formed, there's I have some other like theories that might be fun. To discuss. Yeah. And, but, I, the first couple ones aren't going to be spoilery, but, uh, I'll let you know when we get into spoilery territory. Um, just where we're going to talk about rumors and how they might tie into it. None of these, none of these things are guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Uh, none of these rumors are 100% 
guaranteed. But yeah, these are just rumors, guys. These aren't facts. These aren't like we had insider info and this is a hundred percent true. This is like But I'm still gonna put a yeah, spoil yeah. a little spoiler and just in case one of those rumors happen to come from someone legitimate and it does mean something. So first off, let's talk about Ray. We're just we'll just go down in character uh categories right now. Alrighty. Um Oh, I, I, you were saying, like, all, alrighty? I thought you said already? I'm like, <laughs> yes? Nope. It was alrighty. Like, alrighty <laughs> then. Like, Ace Ventura. I thought you were like, you're rushing into things. Like, we've been talking for 20 minutes. Oh. How, am, how am I rushing into this? Uh, so, basically, uh, Ray's saber, which is Anakin's saber. Yep. Um, it's been officially dubbed by, from marketing as Ray's saber. And that's been caused, like... Some drama because they're like, no, it's Anakin Saber. And I'm like, not gonna lie to you, I'll still always probably refer to it either as either the Legacy Saber mm-hmm. or Anakin Saber. But guys, it's also been marketed as Luke Saber too. What, yeah. If, like, if they have the Blue Saber before The Force Awakens came out, it was like the Luke Saber and then it would be the green one and then Luke would also be on the blue character packaging. Because if I'm Hasbro. if I'm not totally yeah, if I'm not totally wrong, the saber I have for Anakin again, I have mm-hmm. I bought it for my Anakin costume mm-hmm. was marketed as Luke, right? I believe so. I, I don't uh, think Anakin is on that box. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is marketed as Luke. As Luke's. Yes. So, I'm like I don't understand why this the is like such series a series one big is deal. Luke. Um the only unfortunate part of it for me is that this looks like it means Ray won't get a new saber? I that's so disappointing to me. I'm not I gonna kinda, lie. I kind of wanted Ray to get it, like to build her own saber, just because we've never really gotten to see someone in live action build their own saber. That's what I really wanted, and so I, I kind of would have really liked to see it. But it looks like we're not going to, which is which is fine. Uh, she can keep the legacy saber, and there was also a part of us. Uh, that w- would like to see uh, Obi Wan Saber I mean, come yeah, into play. Obviously, that's what I want. But which I, think, I wasn't gonna hold my breath over that. Which I think it uh, potentially could. Yeah, so it yeah. is. It Luke, is. 100%. Luke is hundred. We looked it up. Luke is hundred percent on the box for the Black Series Sabers. Yes, yeah. the the Legacy Saber for for right now. It actually can. It's yeah. probably gonna actually switch for during the next printing. To yeah, I would hope be so. Switched because. I know a lot of people think this is too. I oh, it's so funny. I gratuitously overuse the word gratuitous, uh, but a lot of people think Ray getting a saber staff would be too much. Oh, but I, but I like it. That's what she knows how to use. That's what it makes sense. Mm-hmm. That's what she's been fighting with her whole life. It doesn't have to be double sided, but for her to have like a basically like a hellbird, yeah. but the end is like a lightsaber. I am sorry, guys. And, like, I guess it's symbolic of her having to, like, throw away the staff and, like, have to learn how to refight with a lightsaber. But why not, if she already knows how to fight, why not adapt that to become a lightsaber? Yeah. Well, I thought it would have been, like, a cool thing to, I mean, for, I mean, look at her saber. Or not her saber, her staff. It looks like she could make a saber out of that. Oh, absolutely. That's why it would have been, like, a really cool thing to do. And I wonder if part of them considered that at one point, but they were like... We already have Kylo Saber, which is really kind of a special saber. But I don't think he's gonna keep it. Do you think he's gonna keep it for a while? Yeah. Yeah. I think I only think he's. I mean, we'll talk about that when we get mm. to the Kylo section. We're still in Ray. Fine. For right now. Fine. Uh, I think Kylo would definitely have it for this movie and the next movie. And honestly, if I honestly does, think Ray's only keeping this for merch purposes. That, that's what I was gonna point out. I'm like, no. I th- maybe they did it because they're like, oh. We, we have all this merch of this saber, and we can continue marketing it as for all of these characters. And it is, like, this legacy saber. Yeah, but, but I could see them maybe not? giving it to Kylo <coughs> Why not keep it in the Skywalker line, then? Yeah, well... It's always been a Skywalker. Then, Sh- no, shut up. Yeah, I'm like, you're asking for it, man. Ray is not a Skywalker. Um, That's why I was saying that. Why not give it to the boy? And... Uh, so, well, let's talk about the boy anyway. So, uh, Kylo... The boy... Because we were going to refer to yeah, him both of you, exclusively Both of you now. and I are also, if you're new to the podcast, we're on the team that... Well, one, obviously, we do not think Rey's a Skywalker. Mm-hmm. We think that's basically been 100% debunked. And two, we think Kylo will probably go down the redemption arc yes. line. So means he kind of needs a new saber. Yeah. Um, so 
like him getting Anakin Saber back. Uh, I mean, I've theorized for a while, and I think this is basically debunked that. Mm. Well, ac- there's so much to talk about. I wish I had written better notes because I'm gonna forget about stuff. In one of the original breakdowns for The Force Awakens, for Rey's Force Vision, the vision was, like, totally, totally different. Right. Um, it start, it's basically the journey of the lightsaber. So you see that actually Kylo did have Anakin's saber at one point, and Maz stole it from him mm-hmm. when him and the knights were toasting s'mores. Yep. <laughs> they were sitting around a campfire, and Maz was like, this is mine now! Here, 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 here. <laughs> Which is so weird. Cool. old lady. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm kind of glad they changed that because part of me always thought that, uh, like the saber was handed down to Kylo at one point. So he does kind of have this possessive yeah. ownership over it. And it was, t- and that's why, again, when he's, he's like, like that saber, mine. it belongs to me. Right. He, it, 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 he it does. That, yeah. Cause he it's was like, that was him. mine. Yeah. It doesn't matter that I left it behind or something. Like someone stuck, Maz, the crazy old lady took it from me. Crazy old lady. She looked like an orange. And then she ran away. <laughs> like, she, really? Maz stole this from, like, I wasn't paying attention. All the guys were looking at me. They thought I was so cool. My marshmallow was on fire. I didn't know what to do. It was like marshmallow or lightsaber. <laughs> I picked marshmallow. In hindsight, it wasn't the best choice. Since it was already burned. And we had a whole other bag. I could have just restarted. I could have just stole one from Bob. <laughs> Bobrin. Bobrin! <laughs> He's not even the best of us. No one would have said anything. <laughs> He's not even the best of us. <laughs> no one likes Bobrin. He's the trash can Knight of Ren. Like, have you seen the like the concept art for the Knights of Ren? There's one that's literally like in a trash <laughs> that's can. That's Bob. That's Bob Ren. Cause still his. So uh we know at least in one part of the script, uh Kyle actually did have Anakin slash Luke Saber. Mm-hmm. Um, but who. So I, we don't know point, if that's canon anymore. We don't know if that's canon anymore. And we also know that in versions of the Force Vision, uh, once Kylo stabbies the guy. It, again, this I think this Force Vision has been changed so many times from what was intended mm-hmm. to. Basically, oh, we're going to kind of retcon this and not ever really explain it. Right. Because the, like, the guy who was stabbed, originally, he was basically confirmed to be a Knight of Ren. So, like, Kylo's killing one of his own knights. Right. But then later, people were like, no, he's just a clan leader. And you're like, okay. What? Okay. But in the concept book, there's a guy in the concept book for the Knights of Ren who... Is the same, like, stature and stuff? Yeah, who basically looks like the guy who was stabbed. So you just kind of wonder where in the process that changed. But anyway, in that shot, when it backs up to see Kylo and all the knights, he has his red saber in his hand. And in his other hand, it looks like he has a hilt for another saber. Mm-hmm. So this hilt looks like, like, curse you, Luke, for idealizing Obi-Wan because it makes it so hard to tell between yours and Obi-Wan's right. saber. If it's Obi-Wan's or Luke's, you can't tell unless you're real close. So basically, uh, or if it lights up. So, well, yeah. uh, it... In Kylo's other hand, it looks like he's holding a saber. This shot in particular was cut from the film. By I shouldn't say cut. It was zoomed in, mm-hmm. so you don't see that hand anymore. Right. So I think that was probably adjusted. Because mm-hmm. um, it goes from what was in the trailer to what was in the actual film. So we're just going to bring this up just in case it has to do with anything. Uh, I think too many people would have thought that it was Luke Saber, and thus that was like Luke that Kylo stabbed. Basically. Okay, tinfoil hat time, guys. Got it. Here we go. Got it. Because some people have theorized that uh, their the Knights of Ren are kind of doing the same thing Luke was doing. It's like relic hunting, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> this is my Ray Kenobi theory. Right. And so in this like weird prophecy, there it also brings up like Obi Wan's like lightsaber. But not lightsaber. They're going to word it in a way like, like, prized possession. Something. Something like something his right hand. Hi- or... Like, his, like, hidden treasure. Something like this. Uh huh. Where you're like, oh, it's talking about Obi Wan's lightsaber. But it's not talking about Rey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some, like, Obi Wan's, like, s- secret something. Uh huh. So, uh. Hidden treasure. His light. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. 
Yep, because her name was originally Kira. Yeah. Something like that, like, honestly. They're like, oh, lightsaber! And you're like, nope. So, uh... The, the light of his life. The, there we go. <laughs> you, you'd you work that, right? And then uh, that, yeah, and then it's I mean, obviously daughter. that's our tinfoil hat time. Tinfoil hat. I still, like, we love Ray Kenobi. Neither of us think it'll really happen. But I want it so but bad. But I want it so bad. I'll uh, make it happen. That's why, I, like, another reason why I'm, like, team nobody, because... If she's a, if you tell me that she's a nobody, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's what she thinks. That's what they all think. She's a Kenobi. So you can just have your head cannon forever. <laughs> yep. Um, so some people were theorizing that this clan had Obi Wan's saber, and so therefore Kylo goes to get Obi Wan's saber, mm-hmm. and that's why you see it in his hand, and he kills like the guy who mm-hmm. had it, and he's like, hey, stop trying to harbinge see, I, death. <laughs> there you go. This is like the key to something, but it's all about Rey. Yep. Um, so who knows? Or it could just be Luke Saber because some people have theorized that that scene was originally, I think it was originally at one point filmed to be the Jedi Massacre. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so that could just been Luke Saber symbolizing that Kylo defeated Disarmed him. Luke in that way. Mm. But that that's probably more realistic of yeah. what, no, I mean, obviously my tinfoil hat, but, uh, but it was all retconned anyway. But it's, anyway. it's been retconned anyway. It's just interesting to bring up mm-hmm. because we're talking about lightsabers. So anyway, uh, back on track. We're going to talk about Kylo. If he gets redeemed, he's going to need a new saber. Yep. Um, I would really like for them to not just keep giving the new characters old lightsabers personally. But I feel like they will. Well, with Kylo, I... I want him to get a legacy saber, to be honest. I would want him to get the legacy saber because he's the one actually... From the legacy. Mm, that, like, so these are the things I could see happen. Kylo gets Luke's saber. Right. Like, Luke hands down his own green saber. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which that, I wouldn't have a problem with if it weren't for I feel like Rey is getting the legacy saber. Because I'm like, Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, you can't let them build their own sabers. I, I know. I kind of want to see... I just want to see someone build a saber. I think that would be cool. Um, but again, if they're doing this whole, like, balance storyline... This is what I would be all about. Oh, well. Ben gets Ben's saber. Well, yeah. If if An- if Ray's going to keep Anakin's, then the only thing I want is for Ben to get Ben's. Yeah. I think that would be really freaking cool because then I'll be like, "All right, it's a perfect symbolism." Mm-hmm. And obviously, we are both huge Obi-Wan Kenobi fans, and I want him as involved in the sequel trilogy as he can be with being dead. Yep. Hey, he had a line in uh he did in TFA, that's all that matters. And and we'll obvi- and also Ben's clearly named after him. Yeah. So but I think that would be kind of a cute homage that that Kylo uh, redeemed Kylo, so Ben getting Ben Saber yeah. would be a He'd be like I'm on the I'm back on the path of the light. Mm-hmm. Um Well actually let, let's talk about before because I have another theory, but that's getting into spoilery or rumor territory. So before right. we go into there Uh, I want to talk about Kylo's current saber a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, we know that (coughs) Kylo's saber is has a broken kyber crystal. Mm -hmm. That's why it's all like jaggedy and yeah. And like sparks. We kind of assumed that maybe the like he was the one who cracked the saber because it's so like he's forcing it so much, right? And that's probably the route they're going to go down. Mm But I just think that uh, this is interesting. I'm just going to bring it up. In uh, uh, Ahsoka. No, not Ahsoka. I'm talking about Aftermath. Oh, okay. Don't put words in my mouth. Fine. I thought we were going to talk about how we find out that they turn red. Yeah, we were going to talk about that later. But my current mindset is Aftermath. Um, In Aftermath, there are these, like, uh, basically these, I'm forgetting what they're called, but these, like, Vader worshippers, mm-hmm. um, these Vader acolytes, and they're basically going around, and there's all these Vader saber fakes out there, um, trying to find Vader saber, and basically there's this one chapter where they find one of the Vader fakes, um, or assuming fakes, and they're like, hey, they're, they're like, okay, they, so they buy it, and they're like, what are you going to do with it? And they're like, we're going to destroy it. And they're like, why are you, why are you going to destroy it? And like, well, we want the saber to go back to its rightful owner. And if we destroy it, it'll ascend because, like, kyber crystals are alive. So they're, they want to destroy the kyber crystal. Right. 
So I think it would be kind of an interesting twist if that's what they were setting up. Because it is a thing, a weird thing to bring up mm-hmm. is that they're trying to destroy Vader's kyber crystal. And obviously those things are tough. Right. Is that if, if Kylo thinks he has Vader's crystal, uh-huh. but it was just one of the crystals that was, cr- that's why it's cracked. Uh-huh. Because it was a... They were trying to destroy it. They were trying to destroy it. And so if they were like, oh, this one's actually Vader's, um, and for some reason he doesn't know that it's fake. Um, I mean, obviously a lot of people didn't know. And before we get into the the rumor territory. This is kind of something that we can't talk about until we get into Ahsoka, but Vader's crystal was never Vader's crystal. Oh, yeah. Uh, Yeah, so I should say the, the crystal that... Vader, Vader stole. T- took from it yeah, for himself. and used, and but it was never intended for Vader. Yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about a little bit about Ahsoka. Yeah. Um, so how lightsabers were made were established in Ahsoka. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, a Jedi or Force sensitive being um, bonds with a rock. Bond, yeah. And it's like their rock. Yeah, this is their rock. They can feel it for them. Do you guys remember the the what was it the the penguin and the the pebble? Do you remember that movie? Like it was about the the oh, penguin who went to go find yeah the the, the shiny thing. He went the, to go find his rock for his mate, and it okay. had to be the rock. Okay, and I went on a, like a perilous adventure for this rock. Okay, it's like that. I do, I do remember. Jedi's that. Jedi's are like penguins; they mate for life, and they want to find rocks. There you go. There you go. Put it um, on a shirt. <laughs> we'll make it a bumper sticker. Eventually, <laughs> we'll put like who talks first merch and squadron goals. Eventually. Yeah. Um, that so yeah, the first thing that goes so you it. kind of, <laughs> you kind of, uh, find out that that's how Jedi saber crystals are made. And they also explain how basically a Sith or a dark side user will take a crystal that doesn't belong to them and kind of fuel it with their hatred and something. And the, and that's why it's like bleeding red with mm-hmm. their hate is because they can't bond with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so the crystal's never really theirs. Mm-hmm. They just literally... Kind of steal the first kyber that they come across, basically. Mm -hmm. While Jedis have to go to, through, like, these trials and tribulations to get them, sometimes they have to jump planets to get them. And so if you haven't read Ahsoka yet... Read it. um, (laughs) It's really cool. So there's this moment... It's so... uh, uh, Do I get into spoiler territory? Yeah, let's just go into spoiler. Hey, guys! We're gonna talk about spoilers for the Ahsoka book. Mm -hmm. Um, I will do another spoiler warning before we get to rumors... Um, just because the book has been out a while and this is canon stuff, um, just in case you haven't read the book. Um, but I will still let you know when we get into, like, rumor territory. So in the Ahsoka book, Ahsoka needs to build new lightsabers because she left hers behind on Mandalore, Mm -hmm. I believe. Yep, on Rex's grave. Grave, yeah. And so she, like, feels a calling for these new sabers. And so she follows them to this planet that she's actually spent a lot of time on. And, uh, there's a Sith Inquisitor there who has a double-sided, uh, staff, or blade. And Ahsoka's like, those are my, those are my crystals! Mm-hmm. I feel it! So he had basically corrupted them and turned them red. And Ahsoka defeats the Inquisitor and then takes the crystals out. And then when she uses them, because they were able to bond with her, they turn white. Mm-hmm. So, and they turn white because she's not really a Jedi anymore. So that mm-hmm. was kind of to symbolize that she has no... Al- a lot of alliance alliance yeah. yeah that she's a gray jedi stares <laughs> at the camera if this were the office <laughs> there you go i like how you're finally making office references and you still haven't watched it nope but it's a good show guys it's a good show so uh with kylo and we'll relate to that in a little bit again if he has like the broken quote maybe vader crystal mm-hmm. or the one he stole that could be the reason why his his uh, crystal's so messed up. Um, but, like, we're talking about this. Um, okay, now we're going to get into to some some real broomer territory. So, wee-woo, wee-woo. This may be true. It could be complete BS. Yep. But, but it, it might be true, and if that's something that upsets you, then maybe leave? Yes. So, bye. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for... Thanks for listening, because pretty much the rest of the podcast will be discussing things that are Potentially could happen, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, if you're still here, there has been rumors 
that one Luke Skywalker mm-hmm. is in possession of Vader's actual crystal. Yep. So it like he has a red kyber crystal necklace, which assumingly is Vader's. And something I think would be really, so cool. really f- effing cool mm-hmm. if that crystal was meant to be Kylo's. Mm-hmm. Like, it was meant for Ben. And it, he took it, and then he made it, and it was like this pretty blue lightsaber yeah. or something. So if like Kylo was able to uncorrupt that yep. kyber. Um, Not subtle symbolism at all, but holy crap, do I want it. It would be, because I honestly can't think of another reason to have Vader's crystal there. Mm-mm. I mean, it could just be, like, an aesthetic thing that Luke just carries that as, a like, a reminder of his father or something. I guess so. But to make the kyber itself... And they're they're making kyber crystals important now. Especially yeah, with... Uh, after Rogue One? After Rogue One. When beforehand, you really didn't know that much about... Kybers, kybers besides kybers, yeah. that they could turn different colors. Mm-hmm. Based on if Mace Windu wanted to be seen in a crowd or not. <laughs> Bless you, Mace Windu. <laughs> So I, I just think that would be such like a good moment if like if like somehow that the family knew that this is a story being told for the last four hundred not four hundred years forty years yeah. but but especially because Kylo like has this draw to Vader and like if he's always kind of felt drawn to that crystal and he didn't know why mm-hmm. and he like because I can see that forming like an obsession for him where he was like. He's never voiced that he feels an attachment to the crystal because he knows it's Vader's and he's probably afraid. Mm -hmm. But he's just kind of always had it in the back of his mind. And he's like, oh, it must be because I'm meant to follow Vader's path. Exactly. But it's actually that the the crystal was like, help me. I'm bleeding. I need to bond with you, boy. And why why are you going further away from me? (laughs) Yeah. I I just think that would be such a... It'd be so good. Freaking cool... Thing to do. And then that would make me happy because one character would finally create their own lightsaber. Mm-hmm. And, and that'd be so symbolic. And It'd be so good. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that's probably my like ideal result for either Kylo gets Obi-Wan's mm-hmm. or that you find out that Vader's crystal that he at one point took from someone is actually like... It was meant to bond with Ben. It was later. meant to bond with his grandchild yeah. years later. Yeah. So like that that's the force was always like working. It yep. always had its mind in play. Um The crystal was going to make it to Kylo one way or another. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um and lastly, uh let's talk about uh good old Luke Skywalker and will we see him with a lightsaber? Hmm. Who knows? I mean I kind of feel like people would complain too much if we didn't see him fight at least once. I would be fine with it, Mm -hmm. but I feel like it's going to be one of those things that they include just to make people happy. Yeah. I do kind of feel like that's going to be the gratuitous thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I do, I could definitely see them going the Yoda route where he's like, I'm not touching my saber again. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, well, if... (laughs) And again, if the rumors we've heard about the Knights of Ren scene are true, where basically they just show up to Octu and get slaughtered, mm-hmm. which a part of, like, I don't really want that to happen because I want the Knights of Ren to be a little bit cooler, but a part of me just wants it so badly because I'm like, of course we named our freaking channel after, after characters these guys. That, get, that get erased. After Bob Ren. After Bob Ren gets his marshmallow stolen! He's not and even the then, best one. He's not even the best one! But then Luke just kills him anyway. <laughs> He's like, but wait, I'm Bob. I'm not even the best one. <laughs> Falls off cliff. He's like, I'm just, I'm literally here only to get my marshmallow back from Kylo Ren. And, and they're like, dead. <laughs> like, where's the campfire, guys? So I think, like, <laughs> I think, like, maybe Luke is just doing force stuff. Oh, yeah. Now, which would be really freaking cool if he just, like, ping, 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 ping. Just flings him off. Yeah. yeah. That, those... And mo- like what I'm doing with my hands doesn't really work I mean, in you, a podcast. You made sound. Effects. I made sound effects. They got it. Uh, but another part of me thinks it would be cool to see Luke with his with his saber again. I'm not going to be mad about it either way. No, um, I'm definitely very care careless about it. Yeah, I'm. I am a little bit more partial to him not having the saber at all. Mm-hmm. But again, I wouldn't really be mad. Yeah, I'm like I, if he used it like. I, I don't care. As long as 
As long as uh, Luke's cool. Um, but yeah, is there anything about uh, sabers we wanted to add? Uh, How come we haven't talked about the rumor of Yoda's saber ending up in Ben's hand? <laughs> it's so small! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I it was meant for me! It was Yoda. meant for me! I'm Kylo Wen. Hello. It's, oh my god, it'd be so teeny. That's why he made. So big. That's why he made that saber because that's the one that bonded with him, and he was like, "No way! I'm gonna give myself the biggest lightsaber in the world, <laughs> biggest, heaviest lightsaber." And at the end of the day, he's like, "Ray, this is why I was so angry." And he pulls it out, and he's like, "This is this my is lightsaber. my saber." She's Quick. like, "She's like, that's your offhand lightsaber, right?" He's like, "No." That's just my lightsaber. That's just the one that bonded with this me. This is getting seriously innuendo, though. Yep. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. If that's if that's all we got for lightsabers, there's one more to, one more spoiler rumor I want to discuss. Okay. Because. Uh, all right. I I personally have three people that I talk to, or I only really talked to two of them, but uh, that I consider pretty reliable when it comes to Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Um, I'll put them on a rank. The One of them is me. Bob Wren. You heard it here. Bob, <laughs> Bob Wren. He's gonna be... He's not the best of us, <laughs> but... Not even the best one, but not the he's be- there. That'll be our bumper sticker. Can it please be? Not even the best one. Uh, not, Knights of Rant. Yeah, a not, Star Wars podcast. Not even, even the, the best, best one. one. <laughs> I'm making it. Uh, please. I expect it on the store soon. Uh... So, uh, basically, when it comes to, like, the three people I know, there's one source that I know has complete, accurate information, but he has not told me anything. Anything. We've just had conversations that I'm like, well, if you feel that way, does that... Does that, that mean that X, Y, and Z, Z equals yeah. so, exactly what I want it to? <laughs> exactly. So, but, so he's most reliable. And then I have second most reliable, who has worked with Lucasfilm, and I trust as a human being, but at the same time, they don't even know if their information is that good. And the third one, I feel like, is a person who is just bragging and doesn't actually know anything. So that's their rank is one, two, and three. This comes from rank number two. Um, and it's talking a little bit about Holdo, uh, Admiral Holdo, and uh, DJ, who are uh, Benicio Del Toro and Laura Dern's characters in The Last Jedi. And basically what he uh, had told me is that Holdo uh, basically plans a... Uh, an assassination of Leia, um, and DJ is the one that she hires to do it. And that's kind of like the twist in the end, because DJ is kind of working for them, but he's like kind of just working with them to get closer to his like assassination goal. Right. So I'm sorry if that's like a, like, again, we don't know how true that is. When, when we were talking about this, he was like, that could change. I don't know. But like, Uh um, so. That's very interesting though. mm -hmm. And And I. Smart. And I, and I could honestly see that being the route that yeah. these characters take. Um, which, like, unfortunately... Especially because after everything, they set up an aftermath. Mm-hmm. Like... And, uh, and, well, Bloodline. Yeah. Uh, with... That's what I meant. Yeah. I, I did know that, but... <laughs> yep. Uh, with them wanting to basically kill Leia. Mm-hmm. And Admiral Holdo is being, being on the Resistance side. But we've also been told not really to trust her. I think this would be, like, an interesting route if she kind of has butts heads with Leia and just decides to take her out of the picture, maybe mm-hmm. tries to f- frame it on, like, Just, like, some first, random... Well, like, or even, like, the First Order, being like, the First oh, Order did true. it, so... Or... Let's rally the Republic behind did it, or so, something. To create her, to make Leia potentially, like, a martyr. Mm-hmm. Be like, look what the First Order will do. They'll even just assassinate people. Yeah. Like... How awful. Either is Holdo trying to take power, or mm-hmm. so, something like that. So a little bit of both, yeah, probably. A little bit of both. And um, and basically, yeah, it was like Holdo hires DJ, Finn and Rose find DJ to help them with something else, but DJ was like, "Cool, I have a, I need to go. Cool, need you guys to trust me to take me to land anyway." Space. So yeah, uh, sweet. Um, again, this is coming from like number two of. Rank, who, when he was telling me this, was like, I don't know. Like, that's just what I was told. Mm-hmm. So, I but I think it could make sense. I, I bring it up because Cause I think it makes sense. Maybe. We were both told those characters are both kind of shady. Yeah, and I it, 
it does make a lot of sense, like, narrative-wise and situation-wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can see that definitely being a thing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think that is uh, all we got for uh, today's podcast, unless you got anything else to say. Just that I want that bumper sticker. <laughs> Not even the best one. Not even the best one. <laughs> I, that's our new tagline. Hey, you guys, it, that was nice... A podcast. I stopped being able to form words. Oh my god, thank you guys for listening to another episode of Who Talks First. First it wasn't even the best one. <laughs> I'm CT. I'm Solo. And we'll see you next time. Maybe. Maybe.